as we were getting set to leave the house, we called a taxi service, uh, which you know every neighborhood in Tehran has one of these that'll show up at your house and take you wherever you want to go at very short notice. Uh, we lived in a high-rise building, uh, and the cars would come and pick you up in, in the garage. So we, we uh, exited the apartment to go down to the garage. Uh, the elevator doors opened, and there was a guy standing there with a gun pointed directly at my face. And he said my name. And uh, yeah, I said, yeah. <laughs> uh, and he pried his way into the, uh, into the elevator. Um, and it was an incredibly chaotic scene. There was two other uh, guys with him. They forced us to go back up to the apartment. We went in. They separated Yegi and I um, and began ransacking our apartment. And as those first few minutes uh, went on, the door opened. Many more agents flooded our house, um, all of them with surgical masks to cover their identity and either um, a gun in their hand or a video camera to sort of tape everything that they found in our house. And they, what they were looking for, we were unsure, but you know, they did a very uh, thorough job of ransacking everything. I mean, cutting open tea bags and uh, the pillows on our couch. I mean, it was a scene out of, uh, out of a movie, but we were watching it up close. Um, they seized all of our devices, our passports, all forms of I I identity, uh, and then told us it was time to go. Uh, they walked us out of our apartment. This was in the middle of Ramadan, and uh, it was just before the iftar. Uh, in our, our high-rise building, people would gather in the courtyard around a fountain at that time of day, uh, and we were paraded by, uh, paraded past our neighbors. And uh, you know, I think in that part of the world, people have seen this sort of thing before, and they know not to get involved. Um, and it's, I think, the first, the way I take it, it's, it's the first opportunity to shame you publicly and uh, to create a, a rumor narrative around you. Uh, because people see that and they think to themselves, okay, we don't know what this guy did, but he must have done something. Uh, they put us in the back of uh, a van with tinted windows, blindfolded us, handcuffed me, uh, and drove us uh, the very short distance to Evin Prison, which uh, was probably two miles from where we lived. Um, and and that, was, that was the beginning of it.